Hey, so yeah, big news. Um, I got a lot of plans coming up in 2015 and I need to lighten my load a little bit. If you know what I mean? One of the issues that's going to affect me next uh, next year for what I want to do is, is, is having a second vehicle. Always kind of a ball and chain holding me down. And um, so I'm gonna liquidate it. So you guys all know the Rambulance. And then of course, there's the Bambulance. So this is a 97 Ford E350 with a 7.3 liter diesel. So it's an absolute workhorse and uh, anyone out there will tell you that the 7.3 is the way to go on these things. And uh, a lot of people like these ones that were uh, a few years a few years older with the 7.3 as opposed to the newer ones with the 6.0s apparently had a lot of problems. But uh, <laughs> this, unlike a lot of ambulances that were decommissioned by governments and then sold off to the general public, they get used and abused as work vans, cargo vans, and they get gutted. Everything's taken out of them, all the lights, all the equipment, everything. This one was being used all the way up until last December as an actual ambulance, and it, it was government maintained its entire life, and it was never used or abused. It still has working lights, siren, everything. And uh, I just, I spent a lot of time with my friend, uh, a local friend out here, converting this over for a promo vehicle, um, replacing all the lens covers with purple plexiglass, custom lights up top instead of white and red, they're now purple. All the side lights, same thing. Rear lights as well. Built this platform on the back with the stripper pole. It can be removed real quick too if you don't want it. And of course all the custom striping. This is the exact same stripes as the BC government ambulances except the real ones are red. So I redid them all in purple. So it's been sitting here for a while so there's leaves all over it. Um, so I'm gonna sell this and it's gonna come as you see it except for of course my awesome grunge lettering here with my um, company stuff on it. Notice it's the same lettering as my channel, JustIncredible.tv. Yeah, I love that font. Anyways, all the lettering's coming off. Uh, the sponsors are coming off, obviously, but the stripes will stay. Uh, those were over $1,000 alone just for the striping on this beast. So, <laughs> just a quick run around the outside for you. This is storage. Actually, might as well open it up for you guys to see. Look at that. It's even got a light in there. It goes all the way up to, well, it goes like halfway up the vehicle there. Inside, so. it's just uh, cabinets above that. So you can see there's a lot of room for water tanks or plumbing or whatever you want to put and having a, a kitchen built in inside. So it's very cool. Now let's go around this side. It's plugged in. Um, I plugged it into my motorhome to charge it up, charge up the... Uh, batteries. Now, look at this. <laughs> Just unplug that. This is the guts. Now they don't make RVs this tough. This is just amazing. All the wiring's right there. The diagrams are all right here. Like it's pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing how well built these are. All the strobe light controllers, everything. Now this sine wave 600 watt inverter, I will let it go with the vehicle. This smart charger, the battery charger, which is what I was just using, plugged in, I'm taking that. That's going in my motorhome. But um, you can always throw another battery charger in there. And a new deep cycle battery beer, there's room for two batteries. There's actually another battery on the other side under the steps. So technically you can have three deep cycle batteries plus the starting battery under the hood. So um, I didn't need two batteries though because I replaced all the bulbs inside with LEDs. So let's go take a look. Of course, more logos coming off. All right. Okay. So, I redid all of the blue vinyl in here with this nice soft purple material, except for the seat. But everything else is done. I never finished putting the curtain rod up for the curtain up front. Uh, the back are ready to go. Um, this used to be the bench seat, which, which had three seat belts for the paramedics to sit. Well, we brought it out, extended it out, built a frame and built the bed. And guess what? The, the seat belts are still here. So you, they're actually bed belts now. And underneath, it's all storage, tons of storage. Of course, you could throw a sofa in here and everything too. It's all flat underneath pretty much. So some storage there. 
I just have junk piled up back here right now. All the cabinets have all these plexiglass doors. Very, look at all my LED lights. I got so much stuff. Now I've got more LEDs in here than I have in my motorhome. So um, those are black lights up in the corner. It makes this place glow in the dark at night. All the bulbs in the ceiling, low wattage red LEDs for mood lighting. So if I turn off the, um, the bright lights, that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know how it's going to show on the GoPro, but everything glows in the dark plus red. Now I can also switch the switches here. See, uh, these are, yep, they all work. Every single one of these works. It's amazing. Uh, we wired, we wired everything to these switches cause they were already here. So this, if I switch these, this is left and right. So I can switch to white lights and these are, uh, very, very bright white LEDs. They're actually just as bright as the original halogens. The original halogens were 37 and a half Watts. These are three Watts and they put out the same light and they don't burn the plastic covers. The other ones start to melt the covers if you leave them on too long. Plus you have to leave your engine running. It's ridiculous. These ones I can leave on all the time. So both sides, if you want white, this is set up for photo shoots again. So when I switch these switches, those lights come on plus a spotlight here onto the bed. Um, so that's all done. Uh, all the things here, even the, there's even a suction still working there. There's a, a fan under the bed. It's ducted, so when you're running the engine, you could, it heats up the back as well. AC fan, the, the air conditioning, of course, needs to be recharged. I never bothered, but you, the air conditioning is built in, and it's built into the roof right there. So that will only turn on if you set the thermostat telling it to, uh, that you want it cold enough. And that also controls the heater, which is right there, which also works when, you're, when it's plugged in, of course. Exhaust fan. That is... There's low and high settings for everything. Don't know what that was for when it was an ambulance. I guess it was actually an exhaust fan, like it says. So um, I, uh, I will use it if the people are sitting in here or if, if there's, say there's smoke in here or smell or whatever, uh, just turn that on. It just sucks it right outside. It's pretty cool. So all of you uh, 420 lovers out there, that would be kind of handy, eh? Um, these are irrelevant. This is for a roof, a roof platform. We had girls standing up there through the parade. Uh, the Vancouver Pride Parade this year. So I'll take all that stuff with me, I guess. Um, up here is your the inverter power outlet to that inverter I showed you outside. So as simple as that, and that's station power. So that means when you're plugged in, uh, that one will work. Now, I didn't really clean it up. I just thought I'd show you guys though. Hey guys, so the cab. So all the stuff's right there. Strobe, flashers, light bar, this all, all this stuff works. And the siren. There we go. Now the stereo, it's just a basic CD deck, but I do have it connected to two speakers under the bed and also a subwoofer sitting in the back there. So this place can rock. And there's two outdoor speakers as well up on the roof. So you can actually just set it on the stereo if you want the outside speakers on or off. Now, let's turn all these on. Strobe, flashers, light bar, and I'll show you. curious I won't turn on the actual siren but I can do the horn you know the siren horns <laughs> all right before I get in trouble I'll keep that off so great running um, very well maintained government maintained oh yeah mileage they don't really think about mileage on these things because it really doesn't matter they're diesels in the government 328,000 kilometers this is canadian so not miles that is literally nothing for a diesel uh, one of the um paramedics that uh, uh well the paramedic that uh 
hooked me up with this deal on this ambulance is saying that they quite often will go well over 600,000 kilometers on these. And I've heard of them going up to a million miles. But the fact that this was a government maintained one means that 328 is irrelevant. Consider it almost new. This could make a good camper. Now, one thing to keep in mind is I'm almost six feet tall and I can't quite stand up in here. Most ambulances, you can't. They have them at a certain height for a reason because they can fit these into a lot of commercial underground parking garages. If you wanted this to be uh, a little bit taller, you could just throw a skylight on the roof, pretty simply. And by the way, I turned off the power. That's why the lights turn off. Hang on, I'll show you. All you have to do is I, I they used to have this, so this wouldn't work unless you, you're running the engine. But I direct connected it so you can just flick a switch on the dash. And uh, then all the lighting will come on in the back. Because it's all LED, it doesn't really matter. The reason they had that safeguard was because the, the original bulbs would kill the batteries if they weren't running their engine. So, But if you want full height, there's lots of converted ambulances online. You can see people have cut these roofs open, put uh, truck canopies on it, even uh, van high tops. But uh, you could just throw a a cheap skylight up there. I actually bought one. It's a Home Depot four foot by two foot bubble dome skylight which will give you almost another foot of space. Uh, when you, you can actually stand up you can pop open the roof then. I was going to install it but I never got around to it because we actually used the roof for uh, for the event last summer. So um, I've got the skylight too. I'll throw that in with the vehicle as well. So uh, this is about 20 feet long with the stripper pole uh, platform on the back. Of course outside it's about 22. Um, but again, that's removable. Uh, so that was just something we put on for that event. I just left it on there. It's pretty cool. So sometimes you stop at red lights though, and people want to jump on your pole. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what you see is what you get. These would make fantastic cabinets to build a kitchen in. So it'd be, you know, if I didn't have my motorhome, I would have totally converted this. And it would have been, it would have made a really nice, really nice camper. I'd put the fireplace up along that wall where that mirror is. Definitely. Lots you can do with this. Now these are very industrial. These are not like motorhomes. These are built to last. They're, you know, solid bodies, solid door. I mean, look at this door. Like you're not, you're not going to break that. <laughs> this is how they should make RVs. So, so it's going up uh, on the classified soon, guys, but I thought I'd put it out there for my viewers too, because I know a lot of people out there are interested in do it yourself, build your own campers, and this would be be a pretty awesome platform for someone out there with uh, with the time and energy to do it. Uh, myself, uh, I want to hit the road with my actual motorhome, so uh, I, I I have to uh, get rid of this before that. And as far as Wham Bam Babes goes, don't worry, I got other plans. Uh, to I got other plans for this uh, for the upcoming uh, summer season for uh, Wham Bam Babes, and uh, this isn't going to affect my business at all. Uh, getting rid of this, we've had many vehicles for Wham Bam Babes, so there's some other plans in the works for that. Oh, well, simple as that. Click, click, and click, click. Everything on switches, and these ones are on the door. So when you shut the door, those ones shut off. And before I leave. I shut off the main power. Okay, so um, I'm going to be asking uh, seven and a half for this. Now, I um, I got an offer for it a couple of months ago. Uh, a guy came right up to me after uh, after uh, an event that we did with the company, and he offered straight up cash. He said, "I'm going to give you eight thousand dollars for this," and um, I turned him down. And stupid me, I didn't even take his damn number. Because I wasn't even planning on uh, planning on selling it. I was like, no, no, no. I was just too excited. Like we just had an event that the the vehicle was a huge hit. It was awesome. And so, anyways, um, I'm gonna list it for seven and a half, um, and uh, I'll take the nearest offer, best offer on that. Um, and if you're in the U.S., well, I can't really help you with the importing, but it can be done. I got this motorhome from the US and imported into Canada, so it goes both ways. But um, I am in Vancouver, of course, as you know, so it's just a hop, skip, and a jump from the US border, from Washington State. So uh, if anyone, anyone is interested on my channel, let me know uh, before I go and list this on Craigslist, Kijiji, all the classified sites. Uh, but um, I wanna get rid of this so I can start 2015 with a, a fresh slate and uh, concentrate on this channel and travel plans for next year.
So hopefully uh, someone out there uh, can uh, use the vehicle um, um, for a camper. That would be awesome. I'd hate to see it ripped apart and gutted and used as a work van. I've seen many of them on Craigslist. I've seen them going for five, six thousand dollars that have been used and abused as cargo vans. Just completely like the, the, the interiors are ripped out, ripped apart. The government takes off all the equipment, the lights and everything, usually before they auction to them. So this one's pretty rare because it still has all that stuff still in it. But even the auctioned off ones can easily go for five or six thousand dollars from the same from the same year. So uh, I think what I'm asking is quite fair. Um, in fact, I think it's a little bit low. But I just want to get rid of it. Uh, so anyone out there wants to make me an offer, uh, message me on YouTube or hit me up on the Facebook page, facebook.com/justincredibletv. And uh, and uh, you never know. Maybe it'll still uh, still be in our little van community here, and someone will make use of it and turn it into a nice house. All right, keep on rocking in the free world, everyone, and Merry Christmas. Hey, so what do you think of van life? Van life's awesome. Keep on